Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say a few words on behalf of the Rectorate of the University of Vienna. Let me start by saying that I applaud the initiative to discuss gender equality in science and to celebrate female scientists with a film screening and two panel discussions. I'm really glad to hear that several faculties from the natural and life sciences support this initiative. And I'm here today to express that the Rectorate of the University of Vienna also strongly supports the initiative. The International Women's Day that we are celebrating on March 8 is of course a great opportunity to discuss the issue. But let me assure you that we at the Rectorate of the University of Vienna care about the issue all year and promoting gender equality has been high on our agenda for many years. As a result of these continued efforts, many aspects of gender equality have improved. However, in some domains, these improvements are unfortunately very slow. Uh, but when you look at the issue over longer horizons of several decades, the progress is massive and remarkable. One topic that remains a serious concern though, and that therefore deserves our continued effort is the so-called leaky pipeline. The expression a leaky pipeline captures the fact that we tend to lose more talented women than men as they develop their academic careers and we tend to lose more talented women on the way to a professorship. We have identified the reduction of this leaky pipeline as the most pressing issue and the most relevant field for action in in this policy domain and i will explain in a minute what we do at the university of vienna to mitigate the problem but before i do let me briefly describe the extent of this leaky pipeline at the university of vienna so the university of vienna is due to the mixture of fields of study it offers a very female university at the level of students in fact we give out twice as many bachelor and master diplomas to women as we do to men. But the leaky pipeline already sets in at the next stage. So we give out about as many doctorates to females as we do to males. So already in this transition from the master to the doctoral level, we tend to lose many talented women. And the trend of losing more women than men along the way continues at higher levels. In 2020, only one third of the full professors, so-called paragraph 98 professors here internally in Austria, were female. So these numbers going from two thirds female students to one third female professors are a reason for concern and they, they relate to the university as a whole. But there is, of course, vast variation across fields and both the student numbers and the extent of the leak in the pipeline are more pronounced in the so-called STEM fields than in the humanities. So clearly we have a problem. And what do we do about it? So the University of Vienna takes a whole range of measures. A first group of measures have to do with creating awareness and clamping down on implicit discrimination. So there seem to be strong gender preferences for particular fields of studies. Some fields seem to be gender stereotyped and these stereotypes seem to be rooted in society. And therefore, these preferences are hard for us to change and they can only be changed rather slowly. To give you one example uh, or two examples, the share of female students was at the very low percentage, 25% in physics 20 years ago, and sadly the percentage remains at the very low 29% today. Conversely, the share of female students in educational science was at the staggering 88% 20 years ago and has remained essentially unchanged since then. Concerning discrimination, I would like to say the following. I think we have been successful at the University of Vienna in creating an atmosphere in which there is very little deliberate and explicit discrimination of women. Uh, 
And we are proud of this achievement since this has not always been the case in the past at this university. But the so-called implicit discrimination, which results from unconscious biases, gender biases remains. And these biases partly originate from gender stereotypes that are common in society at large. And we do our best to prevent these uh, implicit biases by specific awareness actions, like distributing materials on implicit biases and discussing them uh, to each and every professional hiring committee uh, for, for a professorial hiring committee. And we also are very grateful for the support of the representatives of the Action for Gender Equality, Arbeitskreis für Gleichbehandlungsfragen, in every committee to make sure everyone, especially women, are not prone to implicit discrimination and are given a fair treatment. A second group of measures has to do with affirmative action. I want to mention just a few selected actions we take uh, at the University of Vienna. Uh, one uh, reason for, for concern is that women are still disproportionately affected by care obligations in their families, and we want to set strong measures against disproportionate effect on women. So simply put, we don't want having children uh, to be a, a real break or, or even the end of, of a women's career, academic career. So we have therefore doubled our efforts in the last year and now give out 10 so-called Marie Yehoda fellowships per year uh, for a total value of more than 300,000 euros per year. So these grants intend to bring women back to research uh, and, and the, the action concerns women that have already been employed at the University of Vienna and interrupted their career. So we want to bring them back to research by offering them not only money, this fellowship, but also a career development courses, office space, funding for travel, and an opportunity to gain experience in teaching. I think the program has been very successful and I'm very happy with it. Next year, we will roll out a redesigned Berta Karlik Mobility Fellowships and these fellowships provide uh, funding for females, female researchers, to uh, gain research experience outside the University of Vienna and to create valuable international networks. We will spend up to 64,000 euros per person uh, on this grant to enable uh, the mobility. And, the, and we are very generous here because we want to give sufficient amount of money that they can also bring their families with them uh, when they go abroad. So we spend another 300,000 per year on this initiative. And of course, we have various mentoring, coaching, training programs specifically designed and exclusively for women on which we spend about 70,000 euros uh, per year. Um, another uh, aspect of affirmative action concerns the uh, positions that we create especially for women so we have handed out 16 three-year postdoc positions to highly talented women in all fields as part of the so-called rewire program which stands for reinforcing women in research so the program is co-funded with the european union and we have spent a total of about four million euros on these 16 uh, postdoc positions for for women, and they are now in the process of of joining us in these weeks. You can you can read about it on our web pages. So let me also point out our efforts in hiring tenure tracks, which is in some sense uh, the crucial pathway to the professorship, from the doctorate to the professorship. And we have uh, carefully designed procedures and we and, uh, provide joint effort with the professors, with this Arbeitskreis I mentioned before. We have carefully uh, designed procedures to make sure, keep a special eye on all talented applicants, female applicants, and try to provide them with opportunities to present themselves in hearing. So to illustrate, in the period 2018 to 20, so in the last three years, the share of female applicants for these tenure track positions was about a third. 36% of the applicants were female. But the people who were invited to the hearings was almost half, was 48%. So we have deliberately invited more females than males to these hearings. And then more than half of the positions, 52% of the positions, were actually filled 
with females. So the fact that about a third of the applicants are female, but about half of the positions are filled with females means that women who applied had much higher chances to obtain tenure track positions than men. What I said about the, these tenure track positions it also applies to some extent to the full professor level. Uh, last year was a, um, a very successful year for us. We have hired an additional 70 pr uh, full professors because we had a considerable budget increase uh, in the last funding period. And remarkably, the share of these newly hired professors in the year 2020 was 51%. So that is slightly more than half of the newly hired professors at the University of Vienna went to females. I think these are both very positive developments that will shape the future of our university. So to summarize, we have made many efforts and some of them have uh, shown good results, but the leaky pipeline is a serious challenge. At the University of Vienna, we make continued great efforts to mitigate it. Uh, unfortunately, we have not reached the gender equality in some fields yet, and this is particularly true of the STEM fields. But we will continue to dedicate our full attention to the topic, and we will strive to provide women with perspectives. And I can promise that we will continue to deal with the issue with passion and persistence. Thank you very much.